Okay. Okay, so this is cut out and hopefully ready to go. Um, so it's supposed to fit right in here, but it's a little tight. So okay. I'm going to... You can always take more off, but you can't put more on. Right. More on. <laughs> yeah, got it. <laughs> mm. I can hardly get any work done. You're so funny. You're mm. just killing Looks me. Looks on everything, though. <laughs> mm. yeah. Yeah, it's getting close. All right. And uh, I like to proceed slowly with this. Uh, mm -hmm. It's really with the, the method that I use for getting the strength in this joint it's not essential that this be a an absolutely perfect fit but mm -hmm. I, I like it to fit as tightly as mm -hmm. as I can mm -hmm. so I take my time with shaving away wood to get it done it's getting close Okay, so, go. so the joint is together now, and it's it's really very solid. I mean, yeah, I can move well. it, of course. Um, so once I can get those two halves together, the mm -hmm. mortise and the tenon, now I have to do some final tweaking to make sure the angle of the neck is right mm -hmm. for the, the height of the bridge that we're going to use, and also that the center line of the neck is lining up with the center of the body, at right. least at the bridge. So that's usually what I do first. So what I'll do is I'll put this straight edge along the center line of the neck mm -hmm. and see where it falls on the body. And I can see at the bridge line, I'm going to be off by about a millimeter mm -hmm. from dead center. So I need to shift the neck this is exaggerated, but mm -hmm. I need to make the neck point more this direction gotcha. by about a millimeter. So what I'm going to do is on this side of, of the, the edge of the neck, mm -hmm. I'm going to shave a little bit of wood off mm -hmm. because that'll change the angle mm -hmm. that it sits on mm -hmm. the body. So that's... Yeah, this is all manual. It's, it, it's very slow and tedious. Oh, I shaved that side down, and now you can see the uh, the straight edge goes along the center of the neck, and Perfect. you can just barely see the pencil line exactly. right here at the center yep. where the bridge will sit. So Eight that's plus. lined up. All right. So and what next? Well, the next step is to get the neck angle correct, mm -hmm. and uh, so what I do is. The, the angle that I'm accustomed to achieving depends on the height of the fretboard. So I'm going to mark, just to, so I know what I'm doing, I'm marking the thickness of the fretboard. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to set the neck in here, raised up to that height. So basically gotcha. what I'm doing here with this flat surface is simulating the top of the fretboard edge. Gotcha. And... I'm going to hold a straight edge here, and we've talked about using a, a pretty conventionally uh, proportioned steel string guitar bridge, right. which is three eighths of an inch thick. Right. Um, on it, steel string instruments, I'm generally trying to get the the flat or the the top of the fretboard to be about three thirty seconds of an inch below the the top of the bridge. Right. So that would mean at the bridge line, I want the uh, I want the straight edge to be just a shade over a quarter of an inch off of the top of the soundboard. Mm -hmm. So I've got this straight edge, okay. and I'm going to measure, and it is nine thirty seconds of an inch, which is exactly what I want. Exactly. So this is my lucky day. Um, <laughs> normally what I would do, if this was too high or too low, these uh, two surfaces of the mm -hmm. neck that will join the body, 
I would I'd shave away either that way the or bottom way. or the top to to change the angle. And the important part then is to make sure I shave the same amount on both sides. Right. But that's how I get the angle right where I want it.